Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. This is the fourth channeling in a series of eight. And we're presenting in these channelings different tools, if you want to call them that. Some even call them gifts that are different energies that are needed for different times. We have said in many channels before, specifically the three before this one, that this particular planet is undergoing a shift. And the shift actually promotes an evolution of consciousness. And some would say, well, what does that actually mean? Do we get smarter? Consciousness is not a measure necessarily of brilliance or smartness that you could measure on an IQ test. Instead, it's a measure of wisdom. Reaction is part of wisdom. What a human does in, in light of what is around them is a measure of wisdom. When humans understand a bigger picture, they're less apt to push a dysfunctional envelope of emotion your way. Let me put that in words perhaps that are better. <laughs> Humans are less apt to react in anger. But the tool that we are going to examine this day, and the one that we're going to talk about later in the circle of 12 this day, has to do with what was even discussed in the questions, in the discussion that you've heard so far. It has to do with reactions during stress and drama. Specifically, what we will call drama. Now, that has a lot of faces, dear ones. If somebody is angry and you step into an angry situation, whether they're angry at you or someone else, you are stepping into the energy of drama. If somebody is worried or stressed or weeping, that is the drama that is there for them that you may step into as well. If you are doing absolutely nothing, but around you there are angry people, angry at you, angry at something else, angry just to be angry, that's drama. You find yourself in these situations without ever creating them. And you know it. The question is this, how do you react to it? Now, we have discussed many times the light worker's reaction when drama is then focused at them. But that's not what we're speaking of. We're talking about holding peace during drama and stress around you, whether it's yours or someone else's. And the reason we put this this way is because you know that if there is drama in the room, you are not apart from it. A human being actually broadcasts how they feel, and you know that. Have you ever gone into a place, perhaps, where something was a little off, or there had just been an argument, and you can feel it immediately? This is what we speak of. The tool is this. Can you hold your peacefulness and your mastery during drama? When there is stress around you that is with everyone for perhaps even a common reason, the, sink, the ship is sinking and you're on it and they're on it, can you hold peace over this so that you can think straight? We've always said that one of the tests is of the mother who gets the call in the middle of the night, and it's the police. 
And the first thing they think is there's been an accident. Is my son or daughter all right? What's going on next? And at that second, before you even hear what's next, what do you do? Quite often, human beings are wired to go into fear. And you have to go beyond that. So that you'll, you'll not go into a stressful attitude and be able to think in a mature fashion. But beyond that, this has to do with the light worker. And what others will see you do when all around them is the stress of the moment. Or perhaps they will see what you do when the stress is pointed at you. And I want to tell you something. That what you do in those situations is seen by all. It's noted. It's recognized. There will be those who will see you not react or go into an observing mode and actually think there's something wrong with you because you didn't react. Get ready for that. They'll say, you're supposed to be angry and you're not. You're supposed to be afraid and you're not. What's wrong with you? Don't you feel anything? Have you heard that before? There are those who will mistake maturity and wisdom for weakness. Have you seen that before? It doesn't matter. That is an old paradigm of perspective. Developed in an old energy, used in an old energy, and even some societies are based on it. They'll say, don't smile too much, or you're hiding something. Can you see, dear ones, how this might be difficult? Even when you do it, even if you dissolve a situation in your maturity, there will be those who will look back and say it's a sign of weakness. This is the new power. In this, a new age and new time. So truly, the tool that is being presented today is the tool of you being able to have peace during stress. How does this feel to you right now? Can you picture this for yourself? Can you practice it? Now, this may be the key. How does someone practice having peace during stress? And you'll say, well, you have to wait for a stressful time. Really? Can you simulate it? And you would say you'd be a fool to simulate stress. Why would you ever do that? And the answer is to practice. What if you could simulate being stressed over a situation, something that would bother you, and then practice your reaction to it and coming to a very peaceful place, breathing, doing the things that you know how to do, and coming to a place where you'll say, it doesn't matter. I am at peace with myself and all the things around me. This is practicing mastery. It's the first time I have ever said to anyone, practice stress. But it's not practicing stress, it's practicing the result of stress. And that is a peacefulness and a countenance. What about a coherence with your soul? Coherence with your soul. And this would mean you're completely and totally at peace with everything, no matter what. Now, if you think clearly for a moment, isn't that what you've seen the masters do? Isn't that what they teach that the masters do? And the answer is yes. Now, that's always been a master who is sitting in the lotus position, perhaps with her eyes closed, <laughs> and, and contemplating that which is beautiful. And you don't have time for that. And that's why this is a rehearsal, a rehearsal in stress. Think on your feet for a moment. How would you react? 
in whatever situation you can think that might be stressful for you, that might have drama around you regarding perhaps more than one person, a fight is in progress of words. What do you do? How can you not be involved but instead have coherence with both of them in a way where you broadcast your peace to those who are arguing or fighting in words. Do you see what I'm saying? The more you put yourself in these positions in a rehearsal of these things, the more comfortable you will be when it comes right down to doing it. It perhaps is one of the hardest things you're going to learn because it requires emotions be controlled. And you convert that, which is perhaps in reaction, and frustration, and anger, into peace. When you have to then negate fear completely and then turn it into love. These things are doable. And they're going to be noticed. There'll be more. What a gift.